welcome to James Leslie's Express Lane, where we get you an out as fast as possible. People are sending me a ton of suggestions and like what songs to listen to, whether I listen to them live or the music videos. But I already covered the song Spring Day. And in it, there was a scene where they hang shoes from the tree. And I tried to Google it live. Well, not I wasn't while I was recording anyway, not live. And Google didn't know what I was talking about. South Korea, the shoes and the tree thing is like, oh, because you're missing someone because someone died or whatever. And as you can see, this music video is a tribute to the civil fairy tragedy where like 300 kids died because there was a ferry going out to an island for a field trip and it sank. And for some reason, like the ship crew went, all right, guys, put on your life jackets, but stay inside the boat. Not, all right, guys, the boat's sinking, so uh, put on your life jackets and no, get off the boat. So when it capsized, they all drowned because they were inside the boat when it sank. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. But after this, I'll be watching Spring Day in a live concert because I've already seen it in a music video. So after this, I'll be seeing it in a live concert. See if it's as powerful a message live as it is without the visuals from the music video. The boys represent all the survivors of the tragedy. need for subtitles I guess this time here Taeyong is feeling survivors guilt the guilt of having survived while his friends have passed many people have lost their loved ones also feel like committing suicide themselves oh so alright there's also thinking about his lost friends Yeah, this is the other thing that the Korean government like tried to cover it up. The media didn't report the full truth. The families kept in the dark about what happened because the me like the government stepped in and like did a media blackout. Which for a tragedy like this, like holy sh like why is the government getting involved? I'm guessing it was a government ship or it was a government crew I'm going like, all right, kids, yeah, stay inside the boat. No, don't go on the deck. Don't no jump off after you put on your life preservers. No, go down into the bowels of the deck. So when the ship sinks, you sink too. Like. That decision was just horrible decision making right there. Most tragically, yeah, the stay in their spot instead of evacuating. Well, the captain, men, and crew members evacuated, sing chic, and lived. From I understand what I've been told. I haven't seen this video yet, so. And there's Spring Day, mentioned Snowpiercer by Korean director Jun Ho Bong. Movie takes place entirely on a train. Movie symbolizes human society where the people in the front of the train treat the tail of the train in a humane way. I think I've heard this I've heard of this title before. I thought it was a James Bond film though. Maybe it's a different film. You belong to the tail. I believe this reference to Christmas to how younger people and ordinary citizens in South Korea are expected to always follow orders, even if it means being oppressed by authorities. Just like what happened to the students, yeah. Oh, this person authority told me to go into the... No, 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 go down into the very bottom of the boat as water's flooding in and you drown. It makes no sense, but... Different cultures, I guess. Are you kidding me in America? Oh, those people would have rioted. They would have been the reason the boat sank. Ah, fucking Americans. Stop being only one guy finally decides to revolt against injustice. So he sets out towards the front of the train to confront the train owners. Here, Rat Monster is doing the same thing. That's a great name, Rat Monster. And there's three rappers, four singers. Times from the book, the ones who walk away from malice. 
is the story of a utopian society whose survival and happiness depends on the suffering of a child. Ooh, that's a good one. If you knew a child had to suffer, but the rest of society lives in a utopian society. Ooh. That's like, you know, you have five people on a railroad track or one person that you actually know. Like five strangers on a railroad track, one person you know on a railroad track that you actually care about. Do you send the train towards the five people that you don't know, killing five people? Do you send them to the one person that you do know? So do you let a child suffer to create a utopian society, or do you not let them suffer and maybe shit falls apart? That's kind of messed up. saying the snowpiercer when the main character reaches the middle of the train he is attacked by people who would not let the rebels through although it looks like a fun scene it's actually not can they show the snowpiercer scene maybe no nope. somber expression he is trying to confront injustice in the society and government people are bringing him down and literally throwing things at him up at all the others who are climbing up growing up while he's stuck at the bottom and able to grow up and go up with them. Uh, next we've seen is basically the survivors of the tragedy going about their regular lives, having fun with friends, doing usual growing up stuff, etc. Here's an 18-year-old boy who spoke for the survivor said, Grown-ups are constantly telling us to forget and cheer up, but we remember and recollect our friends. Because not forgetting them is what we can do at best. Just as we will remember them, please don't forget them. Yeah, just saw that thing on the thing that said don't forget. Tenor artist named Christian Boltonsky, an installation of 40 foot tall mountain pile of clothing. Piled on top of the mountain pile, symbolically carrying the souls of those who inhabited the clothes to a higher place. Might have been an inspiration for the clothes pile. So, someone did like a 30,000 pair shoe, a shoe tree thing as a sculpture. Man, 30,000 pairs of shoes. Of course, the other thing is, I don't think the bands ever actually came out and said, oh, hey, yeah, this is what the music video is about. Here's what the song is about. This is someone's theory. Like, they took money from the song or album, whatever, and gave it to the victim's families. And it came out shortly after the fairy happened. So, there's evidence that it is about that. But, technically, as far as I've read, the band never actually came out and said, oh, hey, yeah, by the way, it's about the fairy. But, the government has censored them before. So the government might censor them about this song in the music video if they came out and said, oh yeah, this is about that fairy, you know, the one that the government tried to cover up. So they may not be able to come out expresslessly. Expresslessly. I know what I'm, I know the word I'm thinking of. They may not be able to come out and clearly state that, hey, this is what this video means. This is what the song means because the government might censor them again.
to her every time she lights a match. She sees the loved ones who have passed away. Previous scene he was alone, but after striking a match, he had everyone around him. All right. Sounds like a creepy fairy tale. stuck living inside the train because the whole side is completely frozen. This is how many of us are stuck inside a society or a government that is oppressive with no way out. Again, this band's been censored before by their own government, so take it for what you will. One of the characters very good expects that there is a possibility of life outside the train. There's a way out of the oppressive system. Huh, interesting. Nice little detail that, yeah, Snowflake. Yeah, because, like, uh, think of Antarctica. It's like, oh, it's a frozen wasteland. Yeah, but guess what? It doesn't really, it obviously does snow, but it doesn't, like, you know, oh, yeah, it's snowing all the time. Like, no, it's too fucking cold. Well, technically, it's not that it's too cold. It's that it's too dry to snow. And the colder it gets, usually the drier the air is. So, it's not that it's too cold to... Snow, it's just too dry to snow. So I guess, yeah, if you go, you know, years without seeing a snowflake, and all of a sudden, like, oh, hey, there's a snowflake. Wait a minute. That means something, it's warming up outside, or it wouldn't be able to snow. I have to watch a Snowpiercer movie, sounds pretty good. The system, that is a society and government that tried to downplay the tragedy. He invites us with him. The shoes that he found in the ocean. Again, like I said, they've never actually came out and said, oh yeah, this song, music video is about the fairy tragedy. But, they've been censored before. So they know that, oh hey, if we come out and say this explicitly, we may get censored again. So... Ah. Man, that would suck though, like... Being an American, oh man, if that shit happened, obviously to be over the news, first of all. Second of all, you wouldn't be able to censor it. Like, someone, 9-11 happens. People made songs about it or whatever. Guess what? They got played over the radio. They became, you know, patriotic songs and all that. Why the hell? Eh, Brad comes off. Anyways. So it's like, oh, this commemorates all those who lost their lives on 9-11. This is about the firefighters. This is about the police officers. This is about the soldiers who went overseas. But apparently Korea, oh, there's a tragedy. We're going to make a song about it. Well, we got to keep quiet about it or we'll get censored again. Which just sucks. Anyways. Let's see. And get this one set up and ready to go. Here we go. Uh, this should be a live performance. Again, haven't watched it yet, but go not Google, YouTube did and all that. So here we go. It's not that we've well, I've seen the music video 
once, and then again with the explanation going on all that. So let's see who's as powerful a message live as with the, is with the music video. Blah. I swear I can talk. I've been like that all day today. Hey, we got... Really? No subtitles? Alright, whatever. So they set up the stage to look like Gomelas and all that? That's a different outfit. Okay, live performance, I get that they dance and stuff, but for what it's supposed to be about, yeah, it says right there, Spring Day. What it's supposed to be about, like, the tragedy, like, the dancing would have been better if, like, stood, just stood there with candles or something, or I guess, like, the little electric fake candles and all that. So, anyway, you're not playing with fire, but still. Then again, people said that uh, during the music video for Fire... They didn't use CGI. They used real fire and stunt doubles and all that. Which, like, all right, would you like to be the guy? Like, yeah, stunt went wrong. We accidentally killed three of the members. Oops. Can't believe that. I was like, oh, it's got to be stunt doubles. There's no way to let these guys run around with actual fire.
All right, well, that was... Again, like, the dance moves kind of threw me off a little bit, but... That was pretty good. Now, of course, can't tell if they were lip-syncing to a pre-recorded thing or not, but... Which a lot of bands and artists do nowadays, which... In some venues, I get it because of the way, like, the acoustics are. It's like, oh, wow, here we're in a sports stadium. Yeah, not really good for singing, guys. So they do that, have, like, speakers set up so you can hear the singing better, but... Uh, anyways, that's just a tangent. Is this really about the fairy tragedy? Watching that movie video thing explanation? And, that like, reading what you guys are posting and looking into it? 99.999999% yeah it's about the fairy tragedy but couldn't come out and blatantly say it because government would probably censor the song then messed up and it's still just like decision making 101 the captain goes down with the ship he does not tell the passengers no 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 you stay you know no you go down into the very bottom of the ship so when it sinks you sink with it while I escape no the captain goes down with the ship. It's, I mean, yeah, it's a trope in movies and TV shows, but it also happens in real life. The captain goes down with the fucking ship, people. He doesn't tell a bunch of kids, that, no, 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 put on your life jackets. Then going into like, why did you not tell them to evacuate with you? Well, there wasn't enough lifeboats. All right, so some people get in lifeboats. Other people bob around. All right, the water's going to be cold. The cold's going to kill you. Before you drown. But if you had life preservers on. You had the SOS going out. Maybe people make it in the time. That these kids don't fucking drown. It's fucking stupid. And if they had anything to do with the government. Like the boat. The crew. Whatever had anything to do with the government. I can definitely see why the government tried to cover it up. I don't know. It wasn't our stupidity. It was totally outside of our control. No it wasn't. Anyways. Thank you guys for sending me these videos, linking them to me, like, hey, check this one out, check that one out, react to this, react to that. There is so much music, and it's like, oh, you can do the music video versus the live performance, comparisons. Just There's just so much to cover and so much to do. So I'll try to get to all of them eventually. Just, there's a lot to go through, though. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.